Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Sports Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I thought I would post a video as far as what's coming soon. You know, I'm pretty excited about this project. It's called the Acoustic Sessions, where I play just my guitar, my acoustic guitar. I love playing my acoustic guitar. I love playing my electric, but it's just something about playing with your fingers and just that sound of an acoustic or classical guitar that just I really love. And one other reason why I'm posting this video is to stress to you young folks. Try to play as much as you can. Try to play as different styles of guitars to get a different style of sound because like I told you guys, I constantly get calls for gigs because I can cover so much. You know, if I'm not doing the electric or uh, now Rogers funky strumming thing, I'm playing with my fingers, nylon strings, the close to guitar, playing uh, you know, folk music, you know, R and B, pop, rock, jazz, show tunes, you know, things of that nature. And another reason why it's really important to do that because you get some people that did and I guess, you know, to each his own, they tunnel vision. This is all they want to focus on. And that's fine, you know. You know, you don't want to do something that you really don't want to do or just don't have a feeling for because it does show in your plan. But I was fortunate enough, and this is how my diversity as far as music started. Back in the 70s, and they just actually closed. And uh, this was one place I actually wanted to visit before it closed, but unfortunately I didn't get out there. But they were in business for a long time, Col Columbia Record House. Back in the 70s, you, uh, you're you looking back at the TV guy and you say, you see, uh, you get uh, $12 for $1.50. I'm like, cool. With the agreement that you're supposed to buy three more at regular price of that, I think a two year period. So, you know, I would always buy these, you know, take, take part in that uh, sale or promotion. And the thing about it was back then, as far as Columbia Record Club, the majority of the artists that they were, you know, giving you the albums for like for a dollar fifty, they were mainly uh, uh, rock and pop artists, white artists. It was extremely rare that you would find a black, you know, you wouldn't find Marvin Gaye in that pal, you wouldn't find, you know, Confunction Rick James. It was just a bunch of rock stuff. So I'm like, hey. And it was only a dollar, dollar fifty. So I would buy these albums, and then when I started playing guitar, I started playing this music because that's all I had, you know, as far as at my fingertips, other than the radio. So I think that's where it first started for me, where I play everything, you know, and I enjoy playing everything, and it makes you a better player for so many reasons. And one of them is you start to notice the different formats of of styles of music. You know, uh, the 50s got a, a, a very distinctive format. They use a lot of seven chords in the turnaround chord. Uh, the new music right now, uh, mainly it's a bunch of minor sevens rocking back and forth. Two chords, the entire song, and then maybe one chord for a bridge. You know, you start to notice those things when you start to uh, play those styles of music. And then, you know, you develop this knack where you start to write. And you can incorporate some of this stuff here from there from there and create your own type of sound. You know, because like I told you guys, uh, if when people come in and say, hey, I want to, I wanna, you know, uh, do a 50 song. Or, Could you write me one? Absolutely. You know, I know the formula. That I, Could you write me a pop song? Yeah. Could you rock me, write me a rock song? Absolutely. Actually, I can. You know, so it's really important to be versatile. You know, it's still a closed man. I just want to do this because... Uh, a lot of guitar players, they don't really focus on what the bass player is doing. And I was fortunate enough where my first instrument was technically horn. I gave it up because it gave me a headache blowing that thing. Uh, the second one was bass, you know. And I love bass, but I'm like, it's just kind of one note at a time. And I want to kind of play chords to write songs. So I switched over to guitar. So I already kind of was familiar with the bass, you know. And what a lot of people don't realize is... And I and I and I, I go over this in detail in my DVD lessons one through seven. Uh, only forty dollars for the download. How to play the rhythm guitar. The bass player, where well, in the DVD lessons, it's entitled uh, "The Bass Player's the Guitarist Player's Best Friend." And then I explain why. And quickly, I just kind of give you a quick uh, a overview of that. How I tap songs, I listen to the bass line. You know, and uh, I can't really go into long detail about that, but I listen to the bass line, I match up the chords, you know. So 
if you're not one of them guitar players who you kind of looking at what the bass player doing and everybody else, which is what I do, what the drums doing, what the keyboard player doing, what the bass player doing, you're going to miss out on, on, on figuring out a lot of this stuff because it's not difficult at all. It's not. I get people to, all around the world ask me how to do, uh, you know, how to play these songs. And, you know, they pay me for my service. And within five minutes, here it is. It's like, man, how'd you do it so quickly? I listen to the bass line, you know. But getting back to to the acoustic sessions, uh, is by the time you see this video, the next video after this, it'll be a series of me playing acoustic guitar and songs that feature acoustic or classical guitars in them. You know, so you guys can kind of get a feel of, uh, you know, that style and that sound. You know, so I'm pretty proud of this work and. If you guys leave me a comment down here, just say, hey, I'm ready for this. I want to hear this, you know. I appreciate it, you know, because, uh, again, this channel is about you guys, teaching you guys the chords to songs, uh, kind of giving you an idea of, you know, how to approach the guitar, things to not tr do and not waste your time. And one of them is sitting on the Internet, hey, what's the time for that? You know, show me how to put my finger there, put my finger there. Even though I don't know why my fingers are there, you just told me to do it. Don't go that route. Learn the guitar, learn the fretboard, understand what chords you're playing at any given time and know what you're doing, and you can do that by getting lessons. Pay an instructor to teach you. Do not sit on the internet, don't know what you're doing, won't go get a teacher because you think you're saving money. All you're doing is cheating yourself out of being able to become a good rhythm guitar player or a good musician by sitting there watching people's fingers on the internet. You know, the internet is a great place, and I look at it as a supplementary supplementary to your plan you know but uh don't just solely think you're gonna do this by yourself and sit here and watch guys that have been playing for years professionally and been trained professionally and you're gonna become one of them you're not you're gonna become a dabbler and you don't want that till next time take care thanks for watching